out of Uttar Pradesh, a man kills his wife for refusing to have sex with a tantric. Police arrested two persons, including the husband of a 32-year-old woman who was allegedly killed for refusing to have sexual relations with the tantric so that the family could become rich. The woman was drowned in Ganga River, and the accused have a, have confessed to the crime. So um, a tantric uh, is kind of like a magic man, right? Um, <laughs> oh, still... wait, there should be laughing. Somebody died. So, okay, go <laughs> Uh, a tantric is like a magic man who, who comes up to this guy and he's like, look, guy, um, let your wife have sex with me and I am going to make you rich. I'm going to use like my magic and make you rich. So the guy's like, awesome. So he goes and he tells his wife, hey, you're going to have sex with this tantric uh, so that the family can be rich. Well, the woman says, no, I don't want to do that. Um, and because she refused to do this, he kills her. He kills her and throws her in the Ganga River, which, by the way, it's where a lot of victims uh, end up. But um, wait, is this a, who, is this a hu the husband? Is this a husband? So the, the husband, husband was telling was not having sex with a tantric, a magic man that came by and said, "I want to have sex with your wife." Wait, he showed up himself, or did yeah. the husband go find her? No, the tantric shows up, wants to have sex with the wife. So, um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, you go on. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, this is so sad and I mean, but at the same time, it's just so bizarre that I, I'm trying not to laugh, but magic man. Because it's so sad. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, it's so up. ridiculous. I'm trying to stop myself. Magic man shows up and just says like, hey, I want to have sex with my your wife. And the man is like, you better have sex with this magic man. Like, what the yeah. hell? Yeah. Uh, Subham is, is reminding me a little bit more of what a tantric is. They're, they're an occultist. Uh, black call magic, magic exorcist man. astrologer etc Wait, so, so black magic exorcist astrologer is this a, those guys that people go and like worship their penises like like sit you know i've seen videos of in india like, yeah, yeah yeah that's them um yeah these yeah so i don't know if people go what i mean don't is weird weird but these people are just like standing these what is it called tantric T tantric um, and they're just standing there and they just have they have decorations in their penis and there's like people are lining up men women and they just come and just touch the penis and just there's sometimes there's a bell hanging on it and they're just like they you know and they put their hand on their head this is so weird like i think they just somebody just made this up and like i get i bet somebody said like hey guess what i'm i can i'm gonna make up this cult that I get people to just worship my penis and have sex with me whenever I ask for it. And it just took off. Yeah. What the hell? Ugh, horrified. And I, you know, I just feel so sorry for this woman because here she is. She's saying, no, I don't want to have sex with him. And the husband says, okay, then I'm going to kill you. Wait, is tantric, is tantric man anything to do with tran tantric, tantric sex? Sex? Is that any way related? Um, it might be. I don't know. I didn't ask Subhim, <laughs> so maybe Subhim can let us know. This guy is a fucking idiot. Like, your man shows up and like, hey, I want to sex with your wife. And he's like, you better have sex with this man. No, I'm going to kill you. What? And he does it. Uh, okay. And, and by the way, like, he just, like, promised that the guy would be rich. He didn't, like, promise uh, I'm going to right now give you a million dollars or anything like that. Right, 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 right. So this is kind of like the, what the, what is that movie? Um, the movie where the rich man comes and offers a, uh, the husband to have sex with his wife and he pays him a million dollars or something. I forget that movie. But this is kind of like a sneakier version of that because it's just a promise of money rather than like show money. Um, and the guy fell for it. This, I can't believe it. Wait, is this any way related? Like, can, can Hinduism at all? I want to, like, I'm going to ask this because I know a lot of people want to be like very sensitive about this can can is hinduism at all to be blamed for any of this or no this is completely something separate so that's actually why i spoke with subham about this because i i wanted to make sure that we were giving credit to the correct uh religious ideas here um and subham correct me if i'm wrong but uh he did say that this is in a way related to hinduism because it all kind of stems from um the same kind of beliefs so it's uh Right. It's like a branch of, a branch out of. 
Now you're gonna get so many comments. Check the comments. Fake news. Fake news. No, fake news. Not relevant to Hinduism. It's fake news. Why don't you check your facts? You're just gonna see coming right out. Like guys, you have to see our previous videos. And every time you blame something on Hinduism, there's so many sensitive, triggered Hindus that come out. Like I think that the Hindus are out competing Muslims when it comes to how sensitive they are when you target their religion. Oh, absolutely. I made a, a Twitter that got like over a hundred comments of people being like, you're stupid. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was so fun. I honestly thought it was Muslims that they were the most sensitive ones, but I, I, I shit on Islam all the time, but I get way more angry Hindus whenever I target Hinduism than Islam. So congratulations, Hindus. You're now the most sensitive religion. Um, and they always brag about not beheading people as if they deserve like oh at least we don't behead people when they when they disagree with us well uh, congrats yeah. and you're like as if as if that's a you know such a high bar for them to be able to congratulations um subham is saying by the way an additional info tantrics are also a part of buddhism yeah i mean buddhism hinduism tantric uh, the, the lines are very blurry right so whoever tells you like no this is not part of hinduism or this is definitely buddhism like it's it's not that easy like it's not like uh with christianity islam and judaism it's very easy to be able to like oh this is where islam starts and christianity ends it's easier to come up with lines for them for these the lines are a little bit more you know gray so it's not, it's, they're all related, but it's not that easy to be able to decide how related they are. People do, do disagree on this. So Palm is also saying it's a Hindu belief that, uh, how do you pronounce this one? Can you read it? It's a Hindu belief that Brahmins Bra are to be Brahmin, followed. Uh, Brahmins are the educated. upper class, right? The upper, the yes. upper caste. Right? The upper caste, yes. Okay, Brahmins are the... Because I always read it and I've never pronounced... Brahmins are to be followed even if they are uneducated. While well, you cannot follow... Uh, again, this is the lower caste. How do you pronounce the lower caste? Dalits. Dalits. So, Brahmins are the upper caste. Dalits are the lower, class, uh, lower caste. Uh, if they are a genius. So, wait. Re let me read this again. It's a Hindu belief that Brahmins are to be followed even if they are uneducated while you cannot follow Dalits even if they are a genius again uh, Brahmins are the the actually it's not it's not technically clerk to say Dalits are the lower class because they are not even a caste they're the outcasts right right uh, so Palm is saying I got a death threat from a Hindu in AR comment sections today oh congratulations wait so Palm so this whole accusation is that only Muslims will give you death threats that's not even true anymore because you got a death threat from a Hindu for criticizing Hinduism um, you know what's funny you what? know what you know what else I've been getting lately what? Uh, is a lot of Hindus will tell me that they can't wait for Isis or Muslim extremists to come and kill me for the things I say what? Yeah, yeah. So even though they're Hindu, they're excited about the the Muslim extremists. Wow! They want to for Hindus to be celebrating Muslims, that must you must have really got on their nerves for them to be able to support Islamic extremists because that's their number one enemy, I guess, right? Yeah. By the way, this is only going to become a bigger, bigger, and bigger problem. Like Hindu nationalism, Hindu extremism is going to is on the rise, people. This is the the main rise. I tell people if you're looking for the uh, rise of the alt right, if you're looking in Europe, that's not really where it's happening. It's mostly happening in India. Um, Muskel is saying, "You mean the movie called uh, The Indecent Proposal?" Yes, that's movie. Thank you, Muskel. Uh, Subham is saying, "I am from a, a Dalit family." Am I pronouncing that right? Uh, yeah, Dalits have been considered as untouchables for centuries yeah but my understanding was that they're not even part of the caste system like if you look at the god where they like the head the feet the hand they're not even in that they're just out, they're not a, they're an outcast right um, let me know if that's true or am i getting this wrong yeah the different castes so like the brahmins come from the mouth head region of brahma uh next class comes from the shoulders then there's a thigh class then there's a foot class and then all outside uh, all together are the dalits well not so. all of them because it's weird because the parsis are technically sh should be outcasts because they're no, no in none of these but they're also seen as superior right 
So even though the Parsis, even though they're not in any caste, so technically they should be treated the same as the Dalits, right? But they are treated the same as the upper caste because for some reason India decided that they love Parsis. Uh, I don't know for what reason, but they just decided that, hey, we like these guys, so that you're uh, you're upper class now. We just decide that for you. Uh, so Palm is saying, yeah, they are outcasts. You got it right. Yay! Thank you. I got that right. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.